when we are extending oracle fusion pages which are built with redwood we might come across a common scenario wherein our customer will ask us to hide or show the data or some field in the page based on the user role suppose if you get such requirement then we will see how to do the same in this class in the legacy application pages that is non redwood pages in fusion we used to customize the to hide based on user role with the help of el expressions but in the case of redwood we can make use of javascript in our visual builder studio and we can personalize the behavior of oracle fusion pages built with redwood for demonstration purpose what i will do is i will customize this field which we had added in our previous class that is the field which shows the person number of a worker here 957 is the person number of our worker that is alan hooper so this field we had added as a custom field on top of our existing fields that is available for the profile layout now we'll see how we can hide the field or show the field based on the user role let me click on edit over here with the visual builder studio my collections profile page i have opened over here in visual builder designer what i want to do is i want to customize this field that is i want to personalize this field that is to show based on the user role we can customize any field provided oracle will allow you to customize or override the template for that particular field i will select this layout and click on the edit rules in our case we are having this layout as per the display logic or the condition i will get into our layout over here and i am trying to personalize this v person number suppose if you want to personalize any other fields other than person number we can select the appropriate field then you have to override the template create your own template and you can change the look and feel of that particular field as well as you can personalize based on the condition that is based on the role you can hide or show the details as we already have this template created we will get into this template for person number we had already covered in detail how we can customize the template or override the template for the cdate fields which has been created by oracle so you can have a look at that class if you are not aware like how to create the template for a particular field and override the details i will click on go to the template for the person number in my case i am just showing the input text over here so this field what i will do is i will hide based on the user role now in order to do that we can make use of the component that is if condition over here if you just search over here if we are seeing the oj if condition alternatively you can either drag and drop or you can just right click over here in the structure and you can tell surround with if condition so input text will be the child of if condition in this case select on if and on the properties editor on the right side you will see text here we have to give our condition click on the fx if you just scroll down there is this users this is the variable available in the context here if you see there is the roles when the user launches the application that is built with redwood all the roles which user is having in the fusion will be available in this roles array now before we go ahead and add the array over here we will see what user roles this user is having by printing the same in the console now what i will do is at the launch of the page that is the profile page we have already one vb enter event listener over here so in the action chain what i will do is i will straight away try to log the variable that is application user so if you don't know we can just drop over here the assign variable just as i need to something this is a dummy just click on fx so i am adding this assign variable just to show that there is a variable which will store all the role information that will be under applications let me hide it expand the system and expand the user so all the information with respect to the user role will be available in the roles instead of printing just the role i will print the entire user over here i will drag and drop the entire user it's not allowing me to enter let me just click one of the fields click on save and in order to log anything in the browser what we can do is we can make use of the console log i will write over here console dot log and i am interested in logging the entire user variable data with this set go to the page designer and let me just right click and open the inspect tab so that we can see what the application user profile is holding the data or the user variable let me just clear the records and i will refresh the page on the page load we are having the vb entire event listener and it will log all the data what you are having at the time of loading this page so it's over here proxy let me expand so as i told 
there will be a application and then the dot users so user will having so many attributes within that variable one is a role if you just expand the role this is an array it will hold all the role codes so you have to make sure the fusion role code it will have in the array so whatever condition you want to add you have to add based on the role code not the role name this user is having lot of roles over here so the array is huge apart from the role this will also tell if this user is having access to access the crm pages fscm what is the full name what is the goid what is the session id of this particular session with which the user is interacting with the fusion pages if the user is active in the identity provider that is in the fusion it will tell authenticated true that cm is true suppose if the user is having permission to access the certain pages so it will be visible over here then only user will be able to navigate to a certain page otherwise this user will get a 403 forbidden error now our focus of interest over here is the roles so this array we are interested in because we are trying to hide this field that is person number based on the user role so with this knowledge we will go back to our layout that is the template which shows the person number so this is the template for the person number field we had dropped the if condition now i will go into the fx so in order to know how we can make use of javascript you can just make use of chat gpt or any other ai tools if you are not comfortable writing the logic in javascript language now here we have to just mention the array in this array i will tell if the user is having i will take couple of roles over here you can have one role up to n anything i will add two roles over here and i will tell if the user is having any of those roles so we can make use of dot sum so this is one of the methods available in javascript or the function then we have to mention the update what it will derive from this so it will iterate one by one in a loop and what we will do is we will tell if this includes any of this value so what we can tell is we have to make use of this rows array and it you have to just double click as soon as you double click it will add over here then we have to make use of includes so this is one more function available in javascript it will check if any of those values which is available in v is available in the roles array that is over here in the roles array in the application dot roles with this set click on save now i have added both the roles which this user is having now if i go to the profile let me just click on refresh the page now both the roles this user is having now the user should be able to see the person number so user is able to see the person number that is 957 let me get back to my template over here click on the condition now let me just give something else like 101 at the end so this role this user is not having because it will check if this user is having particular role those two roles in the roles array what it is getting in the application dot user variable which is the system variable so it's having so many roles as soon as fusion sees these two rows that is ending with 101 is not available for the user then it will not satisfy this condition as our input text is within the if condition it won't show the text field to the end user let me go over to the profile now this user is not having the role codes which i have provided in the if condition if you look at over here user is not seeing the person number so it's hidden so like this we can customize the look and feel of the layout like showing the data hiding the data or any sort of such kind of personalization based on the role using this method